As Confucius said, when it's obvious that the goal cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. That may be the single best piece of advice you're ever going to get. Write that down. We must unweave every strand of the cable of habit slowly and methodically until the cable that once held us in bondage becomes nothing more than scattered strands of wire. But all you care about is how bad your day is. All you care about is what you don't have. All you care about is what you lost. And as Albert Einstein said, everybody's a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. And that's what confuses people. People believe that they're dumb because they're not finding their path. They're not defining things based on what excites them and what they want to live with every day. They're just looking to what the outside world says is good. And I think it's incredible that there are other people doing things that are so extraordinary that we aspire to be like that. But you have to understand the difference between being like someone and trying to actually be them. It takes the consistent application of a new discipline a more desirable one to overcome one which is less desirable. It takes discipline to plan. It takes discipline to execute our plan. It takes discipline to look with full objectivity at the results of our applied plan. And it takes discipline to change either our plan or our method of executing that plan if the results are poor. It takes discipline to be firm when the world throws opinions at our feet. It takes discipline to ponder the value of someone else's opinion when our pride and our arrogance leads us to believe that we are the only ones with the answers. Burn it into your flesh, tattoo it on your soul, do whatever you need to do to remember that once you set a goal, once you've decided in your life there is something that you're going to make come true, don't let anything stop you from reaching that. But the reality is, as you go, things are going to get in your way. There will be an inevitable slew of obstacles coming at you. But when it gets so hard that you realize that the path that you're on is simply not going to take you where you want to go, rather than give up on what it was you said you were going to do, find a different path. And in that, when you really make that the cornerstone of your identity, that you refuse to bend or be broken by obstacles, by challenges, but instead you rise to those challenges. You go over, under, through them. You do whatever you have to. You devise any plan to find a way through. Then your life will change. Now, if discipline is the key word and if discipline is the key action, then what exactly is discipline? One good answer might be that discipline is a constant human awareness of the need for action and a conscious act by us to implement that action. If our awareness and our implementations occur at the same time, then we begin a valued sequence of disciplined activity. Now here's the other side of discipline. If there's considerable time that passes between the moment of awareness and the time of our implementation, then that is called procrastination doing it tomorrow instead of today. Procrastination, an almost exact opposite of discipline. The voice within us says, get it done. Discipline then says, do it now. Anything that's materialistic can be replaced. But when your life is over, it will not come back. So why can't you understand the significance of life? You don't get a pass. You don't get a pass to keep making the same mistakes over and over. You don't get a pass of feeling sorry for yourself. You don't get a pass to saying it's okay, at least I tried. You ain't got time to try. You need to start living your life every single day and be blessed and be thankful and be strong and walk with power and walk with faith. All right, don't be like a studio gangster. Right? For real, some of y'all, you come from good backgrounds. Like, embrace that. Some of y'all come from good homes, good parents, 
You got two parents at your crib, or you got your mom and your dad both involved in your life. Your grandma doggone took you to church. Your mom pray with you, and you get out the house trying to act like, you feel me? I, look, I, like I told you, I'm from this child. You can look up my birth certificate. I went to school too in Detroit. You can look it up. I don't got to act like I'm hard. I don't got to act like I'm nothing. Like I'm going to be who I am. Y'all came out, y'all all came outside. Each one of y'all, when y'all came outside, I did what? I shook your hand and looked you in your eye and said, what's up? And I said, I said, what to you? I said, who I, who I was and where I'm from. Some of y'all, you big time. You like, ah, whatever. Who is this jerk or who is this dude? I'm like, I don't care how big time you are. Hi, I'm Eric Thomas. My grandma killed me if I don't introduce myself. That's just what my grandma taught me. That's polite. Your potential, your truth, everything about you is beautiful. Stop letting the ugly things possess you. Stop letting the world shut you down. It is not the world's responsibility to make you better. It is not the world's responsibility to build you up. Find a way, make a way, and keep living every single day of your life. How dare you? How dare you fall back? How dare you say you're done? How dare you say it's over? How dare you commit to the things that are not giving you? I don't care how much money I got. I don't care how much fame I got. We are humans. Be who you are, bro. Whoever you are, wherever you come from. You come from the suburbs, you ain't got to claim like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you from the north side of Chicago, you ain't got to be, you from the suburbs, you ain't got to be like, yo, I'm from, I'm from the west side. You ain't got to try to claim something you not or be something you not. Like, be comfortable in your own skin is what I'm trying to tell y'all. That's how I blew up. I wasn't trying to be rebellious wearing a hat. I'm from Run DMC Air hat, LL Cool J hat, the Fat Boys hats, UTFO hats. That's the air I'm from. I've been rocking fi uh, 59 50s since I was 16 years old. The shoes, that's my game, bro. I don't do shirt and tie. I think a black man in a suit and tie looks phenomenal. I just don't do shirt and tie. I'm from the D. My people worked at Ford, GM, and Chrysler. Didn't nobody wear suits to the plant. We hard hats. So I'm myself, bro, and I'm comfortable with myself. The ammunition and the strength to carry on. Stop letting your weakness and your fears and your misery and your doubt, all of these things are hurting you. Maybe you're that person that's not fighting cancer. Maybe you're that person that's not homeless. Maybe you're that person that doesn't have nothing else left to give because they have nothing at all to give back. They've given everything they thought they had. And now they feel their life is over. But I'm here to let you know that you are not over. You just gotta get over. And you gotta keep going. Recognize your purpose in this world. We are all responsible.